Good morning from Lisbon, Portugal, or as it's known here, Lisboa. How beautiful is that bag? So we're having a late breakfast at this place called the Coffee House. Um, we did want to go to, where was the other place called? Zenith. Zenith, which has got amazing reviews on um, Google. However, the queue was so long and it was not a very um, big cafe, so we just decided to come here instead. And just before this, we did a little bit of browsing. Just before we go, it's not um, there's not a very busy itinerary, to be honest. Um, we did have a slower day today, but... We're gonna go to Elva do de Santa Justa, which is basically the elevator. And maybe get on the tram 28 again. Since tomorrow, we'll basically be leaving straight away. Because we did stay out a, a quite late yesterday. We're just exhausted. I don't think it's really important when you're on holiday to get a good balance between seeing things and doing things and actually resting. You don't want to be shattered once you get back on it. And the thing is if you are like, I said this in the last vlog, but if you're like tripling your steps normally, you've got to give your body time to rest as well. But yeah, I'm excited to have my coffee. Sadly, we were just a bit too late to get pancakes. So I'm not going to have that, but I'm going to chase the Portuguese rice cake. <laughs> Guys, no idea what this is, but it's a very beautiful building. We are on our scooters, we are just living in the moment. So guys, we didn't go to Centra. <laughs> time we're going to come to Portugal and chill. We're going to go to the Algarve and we're going to go to Centra. I know, we went to the elevator thing, the Santa elevator, which no one said wrong. But like, we didn't actually go up it. The queue was massive, so we just carried on walking and went past this high street. There's like a high street on a hill. Everyone here is so slim and so fit. Because <laughs> it's so hilly in Lisbon. And we saw like Zara there, we saw H&M and then we saw some Portuguese shops and then we ended up going to see like as much of the viewpoint was open because half the viewpoint wasn't open was it? And then there was like a protest going on, we were sure we could hear them like saying like we love you Ronaldo but obviously we don't speak Portuguese and by the way we find Portuguese quite a challenging language like even to like try and say the names like compared to Spanish it seems like it's a lot harder, a lot more complex. Not much English you either. No. Taxi driver was like, oh yeah, English is our second language, but like not many people speak English at all. We stopped off at McDonald's, had a Portuguese fillet of fish, it was the same as an English and Scottish one. <laughs> yeah, we're just like sitting in this little bit here now. We've got this beautiful scenery behind us. I actually don't know what we're sitting on, we're sitting on some sort of some sort of beautiful marble thing. There's like a, t a tour going on here. Just in general, like I'm just not and I just love the colours of the buildings behind and there's just there's some like rap music there's live music most people are in jackets because like I keep saying it's quite chilly for some of the year yeah it's nice and chill what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to the castle yeah taking it easy because we are shattered this was definitely a high steps kind of trip and also we had so much fun on the uh, electric scooters didn't we Okay, I've just got a gelato with like three different toppings. Got some white chocolate, sprinkles, um, waffle cone. I, don't, I can't remember what the third one is now. And we're just coming up to the viewpoint at the castle, the only castle in Lisbon. Had a bit of a crisis with my camera, my other one actually. But I will talk to you guys about that afterwards. Right, lots of uphill walking. Did not expect this many hills. How gorgeous is that colour though? Oh, beautiful scenes. Hey guys, we just used the scooters to come back to Kebab Hut. And we're about to have our late dinner here, which we're very excited about because honestly, this was one of the best burgers that we have ever had. Just to FaceTime mum and dad and briefly, it was really nice to see them um, and I might be seeing them again very soon so that would be cool and yes, quite hungry now 
had a little bit of a nap, not like yesterday, three hours, but I had a little bit of rest and uh, gonna sit in and eat. And eat. Are we gonna sit in or are we gonna sit out? Yeah. No idea. For Tandaka. Huh? For Tandaka. So guys, we're just on the square. Do you know what this square is called? It's the main square, isn't it? <laughs> the main square. It's just so quiet. Like it's Saturday night, but you wouldn't go right. tell. Sunday night. Oh, yeah. Right, we just walked past the police man. And what was he doing with car? Netflixing. He was watching Netflix. <laughs> I think he's just here to patrol in case anyone gets a bit rowdy. And we didn't realize it's kind of like a mini beach. It's not really a beach, is it? It's just like the water. Yeah. Um, a tiny, tiny bit of sand just here. But basically, we've we've covered all of Lisbon now, alhamdulillah, in our two, four days and three nights. And we will be leaving tomorrow. We do recommend the EXE Hotel. The service has been really good. Every single day they come, change sheets, change your towels, like tidy it up, clean the room. It's been great. I was like, can we just stay in? <laughs> it's just been great. It's been a really, really good weekend. A really good first holiday of 2022. Now, to leave everyone a wee teaser. Go on. A suspenseful teaser. Go on. And they're going to be messaging like, oh, what was that about? <laughs> we will have a serious chat now. What? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me this. Just don't leave them to be cliff on you. Well. We'll see you guys after the serious chat. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs>